Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 3 of the third grade redesign practice online test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so this is a brand new item type. So this is actually called a hot spot. And what makes it so interesting here, and we'll keep that up for just a moment. Check out this hotspot. It says that we need to select two correct answers. So this item type lets you select on all of these here. And here's, here's a few things to notice. This is worth two points. So if you get um, just one of these two correct, then you would get one point. If you get both correct, you get two points. This is a two-point question. Now, look at the question. We need to, each model is shown to shaded, uh, shaded to represent a fraction. And we need to find fr models that are represent fractions equivalent to two-thirds. You have to select two correct answers. So I'm going to try to select the top row. And you notice I'm, I'm trying to click on this third one. You see that blue outline? It is not allowing me to select a third one. So you cannot select three. What if I just select one? And if I try to go to the next, there's going to be a problem. Now I can go to the next one, but there's going to be an error message to say, hold on, you only selected one. So let's look at the problem. How are we going to solve this? Well, we're going to bring up our graph paper here. Let's make it big. Look at this. We can draw all over this. We can change the transparency if we need to. We can even change the grid lines. We can do points and connections, but I think drawing is usually the best. Okay. So let's see. Two thirds. Well, let me see. Let's just label these fractions first. Okay. So this first fraction right here, I've got one shaded out of three total. Well, that's not two thirds. I've got two shaded out of three. Okay, so you know what? Let's go ahead and select that one because that's two thirds. So that's pretty good. I've got one, two, three, four. Let's see, five, six. I've got four out of six. And I got one, two, three out of what is that? Three out of one, two, three, four, five, three eighths. And then I've got three fourths. Okay, well, that top middle is going to be pretty obvious, right? That's two thirds. Now, which of these is going to be an equivalent fraction, right? So we're going to find an equivalent fraction. Well, I can eliminate one of them uh, because look at this one third right here does not equal two thirds. I just know that. So one third, this is two thirds right here, which means this one is definitely not it. So one of these other ones, four, six, three eighths and three fourths is going to be equivalent to two thirds. So here's what we can do. We can kind of visually look at them and we can say, okay, which one kind of looks the same? You know what, that three eighths doesn't look like it's got enough. Look at this two thirds, it's more than a half. This three eighths is less than a half. So it's either going to be this 3 fourths or this 4 6. And even though it's kind of rotated around, that 4 6 is looking a little bit better. Watch this. Here's my 2 thirds. So there's my circle. There's my 2 thirds, right? Watch what happens if I extend that. Each of these lines, I'm going to extend them. Now look what I have 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 6. So you can use your drawing to extend it to say, oh, look at that. You can cut each third in half and you get six. Or if you multiply top and bottom, you get also four six. So we're going to hotspot this. We're going to select those two and then move on.